get up, but I got up from my heels from my heels. Okay, so that's what you want to think about being grounded into the floor, ball and heels, sitting up, not leaning back on, on the chair, using your own lower back and lower abdominal muscles because these are your posture muscles. So you want to always trying to make them strong. Then there you are sitting up on the sitting bones, your pelvic structure. And then between those sitting bones, that pelvic, you have your sacrum. It looks just like that. It's right between. And then from the sacrum, there's the lower back. It's only five vertebrae, that lumbar. And then you start pulling those vertebrae up and lifting them. Feel that. Then when you come to the middle of the back, you pull your shoulder blades together. Then Push the chin in and then lower it just a little bit and see if you feel the stretch of those seven vertebrae in your upper back, your cervical. Then the crown of your head, sides of your neck feel lengthening and your shoulders pressing down. Now bring your arms down by your side and reach your fingertips for the floor. So again, trying to get those shoulders down and puff up the chest. Then you go into your sides muscles, the obliques underneath the arm right here, tissimus dorsi. You got to feel you. You can feel these muscles, or or whatever you want to call them, handlebars. But you want to try to pull them up, lifting the chest up so you can feel that separation of the upper torso from the lower torso. But there you are, cutoff point, upper torso, lower torso, lower abdominal muscles, gluteus maximus in the back, and then two more glutes on the side. And then the ab, AB, abductors, thigh muscles. And then the inner thigh, adductors, trying to pull them in up here so that you don't let this happen. That's how the body aligns. You have to keep your knees in line with your insteps. Now what you're in Tanasana, that's a Sanskrit name, but what I want you to really remember is this is the mountain pose. It's, it's pulled up like a strong, like a mountain. Um, crown, that's your crown chakra, center of your head, pulling up. Think of it like, you know, a little puppet string pulling you up. So the upper torso is pulling up while the lower torso is grounding down, force against the force. And you're pulled up. Now bring the hands forward, interlace them, and then exhale, open the elbows out to the side, armpits, triceps. This is what holds the arms up, these triceps muscles of the upper arm. Inhale, thumbs together, exhale. Inhale, pay attention to your shoulders because there is no shoulder movement. Inhale, expand like a balloon, remember? And then exhale, pull in that diaphragm. Inhale, and exhale. Now inhale forward and then inhale the arms up. And then exhale, pull the up. And just exhale the arms down. Know that the arms are separate from the torso. Inhale, forward, two, all the way up, three, four. And then exhale down slowly, four, as you pull in. It's like the air is descending, pulling in. Inhale. Exhale. You can always blow it out your mouth, especially if you feel any kind of tension. But inhale through your nostrils. Exhale. Blowing out a candle or inhale one more time. And then exhale, let go. Just open the mouth and go. And let go. Let's go into the goal post position. 
and reach your fingers over and exercise your fingers. Open them wide. Inhale, bring shoulder blades together. And then exhale. Open up the shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And bring the hands down. Okay? So that's the feeling that you want. Now let's do the shoulders by themselves. Know the tension. Inhale those shoulders up so you feel the tension. The shoulders are trying to reach the ears. And then exhale, let them go. Let them just drop down by your side. But that has nothing to do with this torso. Arms are extremities. Inhale, they're the upper extremities. It's like the legs are the lower extremities. Exhale. So as the arms are going down, the chest is staying up. Up, up that chest, that sternum bone, that breastbone. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good, good, good. Let's bring our legs forward. And let's just flex and extend and pull up the upper torso. Make sure you're sitting on your sitting bones. Shoulders in line with your hips. And then work these lower extremities. Just warming up the joint areas. You got your ankle joints, knee joints, hip socket, and all these joints. And you have to keep them moving, whether you're standing, walking, or sitting. Because they'll tighten up on you. They'll stiffen up on you. Especially don't really get. <laughs> so you work your ankles, pull your toes back. That's flexion. And then extending and then flexing. How are we doing? Flexion and extension. Good. Now bring both of the insteps down and slide that foot in, the right foot. Use these muscles. Pull up here and pull these muscles up. Quadriceps in the front, hamstrings in the back. Inhale. Pull the rectus abdominal muscles up. Pull up. Muscles move bones. Remember that. Muscles move bones. So you pull your back up again. Pull your legs up. Can't do one without the other. Don't pull up your legs and don't work your center. That's what I'm making the issue of. Okay. That's why I want you to have these straps and things so I can show you how to use them for support and pull up. But right now, you're going to use your own hands to help. You put your hands here. You want to do a start from the bottom. And that means I'm talking about the lower torso. I want you to tuck the, come off of the pelvic and tuck that pelvic under gluteus maximus muscles going under. They go like this into each other and then into the anus muscles and then pull up the pubic bone up in the navel. Now you're not sitting up on the sitting bone. You got it tucked. And then inhale. Release that and sit on the sitting bones again and pull that lower back up. Just working this area. Pull up out of it. Pull up. Now tuck under like a C shape. Exhale, tuck under, squeeze together. Pull that navel in. Remember that's an exhale. Pull the navel in on the exhale. You collapse that diaphragm. Now inhale. Expand and pull up straight. And think of being that balloon where the upper torso is the balloon and it's trying to fly, it's trying to go up into the sky. So pull up out of the lower torso. Last time, exhale. Stay right here, right here. Inhale, expand, pull up. Stretch those vertebrae in the lower back and back into sitting on those sitting bones. Now, upper torso. So lift the chin up. This is your inhale. Inhale, lift the chin up, pull your shoulder blades together. Stretch this neckline here. Then exhale, bring your chin in your chest and open up your shoulder blades. Just open them up, but really still pull in the diaphragm with the accent there. Inhale, lift your chest up. Shoulder blades together in the back so that the chest is open so you can breathe better. And stretch your neckline. 
Then exhale, bring your chin in your chest. Open up the shoulder blades, pull the butt in. Press your feet down, stay grounded. Work in the upper torso. Inhale, pull up out of the lower torso. Exhale. The diaphragm in, bring the chin in the chest, open the shoulder blades. Now what we are working on, pull up to the center again, is cat and cow. This is the cat position and the cow is when you round. Now we're adding the upper torso and the lower torso. Now when we inhale, I want you to push that gluteus maximus off of your waistline and pull up. Now when you exhale, I want you to tuck the gluteus maximus and the pelvic under. Pull the pubic bone up in the navel and open up the shoulder blades. I didn't say nothing about the shoulders. Shoulder blades, go in. Stretch the upper back, chin in the chest. Now inhale, use your hands to lift that chest up. Push it forward and up. As you stretch your neckline, exhale, tuck it under your buttocks. Squeeze in. Pull the pubic bone up in the navel, chin in your chest. One more time. Inhale. This is really good if you have any lower back pains or you want to learn how to activate these gluteus maximus, this pelvic region. And then inhale. Bring yourself back up straight. Good, good, good. Let's take that left hand, bring the right hand back, and work on our spinal twists. Because this is something you should do every day. Helps for your elimination. Inhale, pull up the vertebrae again. Shoulder blades together. And then exhale, pull the pubic bone up into the navel. Collapse that diaphragm and twist from that waistline. Then inhale yourself back to the front. Exhale and change. Left hand back. And inhale the spine up first, breathe first, inhale, and then exhale, twist, pull it in, pull in, and twist. Now, this is one of them times it's good to have your block between your legs so that you squeeze in and really separate the upper torso from the lower torso. Then inhale, back, exhale, and relax. Okay? Do it one more time, but you're going to add the head this time. First, we do the same part. Inhale up. Exhale and twist. Now, inhale, turn your head to the left. And when you get there, don't crank it. Just exhale and let go. Relax. Inhale, turn your head to the right. And when you get to the right shoulder, exhale and relax. Now, listen very carefully. Inhale to the center of your body. That's where your breastbone is, your sternum. Then bring your torso back around to the front. Not your head, here's my head, in line with my sternum. I don't have to move that. All I have to do is move the whole of the torso and the head goes along for the ride. Change. Chin is in line with my sternum. Inhale. Exhale, give myself that twist. Now separate, isolate, just move your head, turn it to the right. And then exhale when you get there. Just flow, no strain. Inhale, turn your head to the left shoulder. And exhale, let go. Pull that diaphragm in. Inhale, bring it, your head to the center where your sternum is. And then take your waistline, that upper torso and bring it back around to the front. Exhale and relax. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's go back to the legs. Get a little circulation in our ankles. Lift that right foot up, flex and extend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down. Try to lift straight up. And one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Now we're gonna do a little rotations. Lift, flex the foot and bring it around. Four, two, three, four, and reverse it. Two, three, four, down. This is very good for your knees. 
three, four, circulation. Two, three, four, and down. Now let's do the lower leg. Keep the foot flex and one, two, three, four, and reverse it. Two, three, four, and down. Press that heel down as you lift this leg up. And one, two, three, four, and reverse it. Two, three, four, and down. Now let's work the thigh bone, the femur. Flex the foot and up and down. And one, two, three, four. Stay seated on both sitting bones. Seven, eight, and down. Yes, up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Good. Now we're going to make those rotations in that ball and socket. Hip girdle. Ready? Flex the foot. And one, two, three, four. Reverse that rotation. Two, three, four, and down. Lift. And one, two, three, four. And reverse it. Two, three, four, and down. Now, working the inner thighs, adductors, and outer thighs, abductors. Squeeze those thighs together. And now open up your chest, open up the groin area, shoulder blades together. Now this upper torso, try to keep this lifted just like that and just work from your ball and socket, just from the groin area. Inhale, squeeze those inner thighs, palms down. And then exhale, let go of the lower torso, but keep pulling up that upper torso. There's nothing happening. It's the inside job. Inhale, squeeze. Nobody can see it, but you're steadily pulling up your upper torso. Opening up, allowing the stretch here, real important because these are a lot of limps in here. So you want to help them move the waist out of this area. And then come back parallel. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Now we bring our arms down by our side and we're going to inhale the arms up. Now you can interlace them again, you can turn them over to give yourself even a better stretch. Or if you have any finger kind of problem, you have to learn how to modify. But don't just sit there, just modify it. Hold your wrist or hold your arm, or, you know, you do like this if you wanted to. The only thing that's matter is that you separate the upper torso from the lower torso. That's when the book comes in handy. Again. The lower torso is squeezing together as you go right over that hip bone. You're pulling out of that lower torso. And inhale back up. I'm going to do it the hardest way. Exhale, over, pull. Notice my arms are straight. I'm not trying to go over as far as I am trying to stretch muscle tone. Exhale. The more I do this, the more stretch I'm going to get. And then come back parallel. Bring the arms in. Don't bring them out to the side. Don't bring them straight down by your side. They remember, they move separate. Nothing's happening here, but you're constantly working on pulling up. Because gravity is constantly working on pulling you down, right? Now hold on to your chair and get that same kind of feeling. And it's the same way you can hold on to a strap and get that same kind of feeling. And then push your chest forward and pull your shoulder blades together. Yeah, I'm pulling away from that chair. Because I want to really get that stretch. Now, this is my inhale. Inhale. Now I'm going to stretch my chin. Stretch that neck. That's my exhale. Now I'm going to inhale my head back up straight and bring my arms straight back down again to relax. Because I don't want to be in any tension. All oh, tension, tension. No. You must have. That's what the exhale is for. Exhale is to let go. Hold on. Inhale. You need energy to pull away from the chair. Now exhale and just give yourself a stretch. Wherever. Then inhale, come back up straight to the mountain pose. Exhale and relax. 
Okay, so that's the pull. Now, that's arching forward. So we are going to do that, arching forward, right? Here we are like this. We're going to arch forward, not down, forward. Here's a stretch. Chest up, chin up. Now I'm going to drop down, bring my chin in my chest and fold. This is called a fold. I'm rounding over, my shoulder blades are open. I'm pulling from my lower back all the way up to my upper back. Now I'm going to lift again my chin. I'm inhaling my chin, my chest, pulling me forward again. And then I'm going to pull all the way back up into my flat line. Okay. That's an inhale. I need energy to get up. Now this is my flexibility where I just let myself go and stretch. Yeah, so here I am. I'm up, inhale. Now I exhale. Drop it all the way down like a rag doll, wherever. Now I need energy to get up. Press it down in your heel, ball of your foot. Inhale, lift that chin, lift that chest. Let it pull you all the way back up into a flat line. Notice here's the chin now, it's not up. Okay, I pushed it back. I lined up my shoulders with my hips. Now I'm gonna reverse this. Instead of arching forward, I'm going to round, I'm going to fold. So I'm gonna start with the chin in the chest and fold down. Then I'm gonna relax there so that I get, let my spine, let those vertebrae lengthen for more counts. Okay, now I'm gonna roll back. Roll back onto my sitting bones. Keep the bone going up into the navel. Gluteus maximus going off of the waistline. Now I'll pull up my shoulder blades together, lifting my chest and then bringing my chin in in a straight line, coming back into the flat line again. Okay, so exhale. Whatever, hang there, let go. Nothing's happening in the arms. I'm working my torso. Ready, roll back, sit on the city bones, and start pulling those vertebrae, lengthening as you pull up and inhale. So now we're trying to do an eight count, an eight count exhale and an eight count inhale. If you have to inhale or exhale again, do it, you know. But see, can you, I'm not counting that slow. See, can you really just keep on inhaling up eight and exhaling down eight? Ready? Pull up to begin with. And then exhale, chin in your chest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale back. Three, four, and up. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, chin in. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Body rolls are something that you do because spine is our lifeline. That's why you always see people, oh, I can still touch the floor, you know, because you want that spine to be as flexible as you possibly can. Okay, now all those exercises are a part of the sun salutation. That's what we're going to take today. It's just this. Just the first part. There's two sections to the sun salutation. Uh, but I'm just taking the upper torso part mostly. Okay? And uh, we will learn the second part. So turn your arms back, your palms up, and shoulders back. And then inhale, pull yourself up. Now lift that chest, stretch that chin, and arch back just a little bit, just your head. Just your shoulder blades coming in back. That's the upper torso. Right up there, up the back. Now inhale and come back up straight. The straight line. Oh, that's the one I didn't work on. Your hinge. Now, from your waistline, you're just going to reach forward, wherever. Not down, forward. And then you're going to bring that chin in your chest and round. Now you're going to inhale, lift and arch forward. Exhale, round. 
Now turn your arms over and inhale up. And then come together, press force against the force, right and left brain, acupuncture pressure, right on the fingertips, and the heel of the hands pressing, no shoulders, and ready to start again. Ready? Take a breath, inhale, and up. Exhale, stretch that chin, arch just a little bit. Now inhale, come back up, straight line. Now at the waistline, this is called a hinge forward, and then fold, drop down, wherever. Now inhale up, lift that chin and chest, arch. And then exhale, fold back down. Now turn your hands over, lift your chest. Keep your chin and come back up straight and bring your hands in to Namaste. Okay, that is the beginning of the sun salutation. Of course, it's taken standing up also, which we will do in time. First, I want you to just learn the sequence. Okay, now open the legs. We're almost finished. We're getting ready to stand up now. Work on being this is a squat position. You're sitting on those sitting bones again and you're pressing open those sockets. <laughs> Use the heel of your hands to press open and then lift your chest up and your shoulders back, shoulder blades right together. And pressing open in the groin area. Press. Then pressing the ball and the heel of the foot down. Now the knee is trying to get over the little toe, but you're opening the groin area. So the knees are not like this. That's bad on the knees. Know that. <laughs> you want this to be open from here, not from your knees. That thigh bone, press open and in the groin area. And then the knees going back over the little toe. Now, you want to learn how to shift your weight. That's how you have to learn how to be in control of this gluteus maximus, the biggest muscle on your body. Separating, learning how to separate the upper torso from the lower torso. You're going to bring the upper torso forward and press down in your feet and lift your buttocks. Knees are still bent. Just work on practicing that. Inhale. This is the inhale. Pulling up. And then exhale. Press down in your feet and lift your butt up. Okay, feel that action happen. Very, very important. There's no energy in your knees because your upper torso is forward and your butt is up. Weight is in your heels. Okay, when you get that buttocks up, you're going to lift your chest. You're going to pull your gluteus maximus into your anus muscles and pubic bone up in the navel and push your hips forward and stand up. Don't push back on the knees. Keep the knees soft. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Now hands on your hips. Push your hips forward. Pull your pubic bone up your navel. Drop the gluteus off of your waistline. Keep lifting that chest up. Knees are relaxed. Keep lifting. Pulling up in here. Pull up. Squeeze together. And lift up. Instead of bending over. That's what I'm trying to get you to do. Drop the gluteus maximus off your waistline. Pull the pubic bone up into the navel and lift the chest. Nice. Use your chair as if you were pulling onto a cart and going through the store, buying whatever you want. Don't do this, right? Work on pushing those hips forward and dropping the glutes off your waistline. Push through your hips. This is where we walk, really. This way. Do not walk with this butt sticking out. It's going to get bigger and bigger. <laughs> but you're not using it. you got to activate those muscles. They're the biggest muscles on you. So push the buttocks <laughs> off of your waistline down and your hips forward. Squeeze in and pull the pubic bone up into the navel, ribs up into the chest. See now I'm pushing, just using my fingertips, pushing that chair away, squeezing, but not sticking my butt out, dropping it down and in. That's how these muscles go, these fibers of the gluteus maximus. Okay. Very important to try to remember that. 
Okay, that was good. Open your legs and give yourself a little twist. Get ready, close, clap. Just lunge from side to side. Twist that waistline a little bit. Spinal twist a little. Really helps for circulation and getting the waist again. That's what's important. Is try to keep your system clean. Got to, have, got to eliminate. All right. Turn the arms over. Let's close class. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. One more time. And inhale. And exhale. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming this evening. Blessings. Thank mm -hmm. you.